Okay, number 15, please. One minute, one minute. Yes, Time or pause the answer? Yes, Read the question. Read the question, please. Number what, please? Number 15. Number 15. Yes. Yes, what? That's why. Fine. That's why. Equals to nine. X minus three. X minus y equals to three. <laughs> so this is the question. What? Wow. Wow. to solve it simultaneously, right? Yeah. We can easily remove y, eliminate y. Or if I, what should I do to eliminate y? Peter, what should I do to eliminate Y? If we add plus Y minus Y, it will go, right? S plus S. This has gone. 9 plus 3. Divide both side by. Divide both side by. So S becomes what? So that's the value for X. We can substitute it into equation one or equation two. So into equation one. We we'll have what? Talk to me. Y Okay, but the question is asking us to get the product of X and Y. So x y, which is x times y, is three times y, and that's what. Number sixteen. One minute. What's the answer? Wow. Number what, please? Number what? Number 16? Yes, sir. Call the question. We divide 1 over 5 divided by 1 over 2 or 1 over 5. Read the question.
even to read question, even to read question, Oriva will not participate. This is this is what change it to times, please. The same thing over the same thing is one, right? Yes. Number 17. Write a question. Uh, Florence, you are disturbing everybody. Eh? In case you don't know, you don't want to bend your head. You want everybody to bend their head. What's the answer? Read the question. Read again. Who is the topper? What does topper mean? Topper. Yes, the person with the highest score. In an exam, the person with the highest score is called the topper. Understood? So how many boys do we have? Ten. How many girls? Sixteen. Okay. Boys, how many? Ten. Girls. Girls. Sixteen. Total. So probability that the topper is a boy is number of all. Over number of all. Possible outcome. Number of required outcome is what? Well. Because there are ten boys. Two years. Next question. Right.
What's the answer? Read really the question, please. Two men. Two men digs the well in how many days? Twelve days. Uh huh. So therefore, eight men. Read, read the question. How many days will it take eight men? So therefore, eight men. Well, if they work at the same rate. What kind of proportion is this? So it's this times this divided by this. So that's what? Two times four divided by eight. Two year one. Two year one. Twenty-four over eight. Ten seconds more. What's the answer? Tell me the option. Number 19, please. Read the question. How many zeros? Okay, I've told you when you want to divide fractions this way, the best way is to eliminate all the points, right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So let's move. One, two, three. That will be 12. Four, five, six, seven. That will be nine. Times four, yes. over zero, uh, one, two. That'll be what? Six times nine. Uh, one, two. Six times what? Minus nine. How many times did we move? Two. So we can cancel now because we have removed the points. Two here. Three. Two here. Respond for Christ's sake. Respond. That's how you learn. Three here. Three and one. Three to Six times three. Eighteen. Remember the law of indices. Yes. When you have divide. And you have powers this way, what will it be? You take one of the powers, because it's divided, now be minus, right? Yes. Minus 7 minus minus 2 is what? Plus 2. So that's what? Are we there? Yes. But this is not a standard form. We need to move one place this way. 
You get that? Yes, sir. So moving that one place that way so it can be in standard form, 18 times 10 raised to the minus 5. For you to move one place this way to be what? 1.8 times 10 raised to the Move, just move this here. What will it be? 1.8 times 10 raised to the what? No, no, no. Answer my question. Leave this one first. Move this, this 18. I want to change it to 1.8. So it will be 1.8 times 10 raised to the power what? 1. 10 by 1. Are we there? Yes, sir. It's the same as this 18. Then times 10 raised to the what? Times in this is what will it be? You add the pass one plus minus five. We'll have to finish the question before we go for break. Sub number 20. Subs are 26. So solve. One minute, please. What is the answer? 1 over Okay, of Read the question What do we do? That be what? Uh -huh. What do we do? Next question, so. Um, please look up everybody look up the area of a room bus mm? this is one of them eh? there are others let me just give them to you so we can we know we have it here if you have a room bus
this is the side right that's the side right this is the side right this is the side right this is the side all the sides are the same do you get that all the sides are all all the sides are all if you want to calculate the area of this rhombus it will be one of the sides times the height of the rhombus huh? one of the one of the sides times the height do you get that then the third formula for calculating area is if you are giving the angle if you are giving the angle the angle that is inside let's call that angle a huh? you are giving the angle that is inside the rhombus so let's call it a um let's call this a okay can we draw this please draw this i'd like us to get it so we can have it also when you are giving the sides of the rhombus area is equal to the side times the height Okay, if this is the side, the same as this side, the same as this side, the same as this side, the area is still equals to, listen, the square of the side times sine of the angle. Do you see that? The square of the side times the sine of the angle. Those are the three possible formulas for calculating the area of the rhombus. So if you are given the height, the height of the rhombus, the height, how high the rhombus is. In this case, this is how high the rhombus is. You'll be given the height of the rhombus. So the side of the rhombus times the height of the rhombus. We saw this formula in our heading factory, remember? For rhombus. We saw this formula, do you remember? We saw it. It's an hidden fact. So the new, the two uh, formulas we are learning for area of the robots, this and the other one on top. They are all simple. So if the angle is thirty degrees and the sides are two centimeters it will be two square times sine 30. do you get that if the
Okay, so if the side is two, we should know what to do. I was trying to rotate it, but I don't know why it's um. Okay, so let's go back to the question and finish up. Read the question. Have you solved it? Solve. I give you one minute. Read the question. Read it again. What's the answer? Seven number one over two. Or seven. You just called the option. The option is all. Option B. Oh, thank you very much, River. Number what, please? So it says was the volume. Read again. The volume of B. Yeah, the volume of the jar varies vastly as the spread of Right? Yes. Look at the expression. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Now this formula, you meet it in uh, junior chemistry and junior physics. It's called Boy's Law. Boy's Law. It's called what? Boyce. That's what Boyce law says. It says volume of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure. Okay. So remove proportional sign. Volume becomes what? Why volume is all? Press equals to three. So that gives us five. Five is equal to k over t. Over three. So what is k? K is equal to t. So what's the relationship? T equals to t. That's our way. Relationship. Relationship law or what? Formula. Or formula. So with this, we can now solve the question. Ourselves should solve what? We should solve for v. So v now becomes fifteen over. What is what?
number Do you still remember the formula for compound interest? Yes. What's the formula? What's the formula? What's the formula, ma? She's not talking again. Read the question. For compound interest, right. Amount is principal open bracket one plus rates over 100 one plus rate over 100 or is to part time principal is equal to one plus rate over 100 or is to part time We had peas, what? We had peas, what? Peas. Principal. R is what? T is what? T So in this question, In this question, in this question, what's the principal? What's the rate? What's the time? What's the time? Are those the data given? Okay, so the amount after three years will be principal one plus what's the rate? 
What's the rate, please? What's the time? So that's what. Let's add up. You know, one is hundred over hundred. So hundred over hundred plus two over hundred is what. Or is the power? Okay, if we solve this, we'll have our answer. So that's going to give us. Let's go. 102 over 100 is what? Right? So if we multiply this, we'll get our answer. Let me look at the options to know the best way to leave it. So we go 1.02 times 1.0. So hope you know that is three times. So 1.02 times 1.02. Multiply for me. Multiply for me, please. Times and that's one point zero two, three places. This is times, hope you know. Yes. Look at it. Okay. It's 800 times this thing. Right? It's not plus. So what did you get? Uh, 1.02 times 1.02 times 1.02. Can I give you 10 now? It's 1 point something. One point zero okay times eight hundred. Let's move the zeros two times. So it's eight times what? So let's do it here. Forty eight, right down. Uh huh. I mean, the small places. So this is the amount after three years. That's the amount after. So what is the interest, the compound interest? If this is the amount, how much enters the money? Yes. 48 naira 80 kobo, not 8. And that's option what? Approximately A now. If you have 48 naira, what are you waiting for? Huh? Yes. This is 48 naira 90. You know we approximated. So 48 naira 97 kobo. That's it. We have 48 naira 80 kobo because of approximation. It, 
You still remember the formula? So solve it yourself. Let the what has been solved guide you. Okay, so that's the formula for calculating amounts in compound interest. Now, if you want to calculate compound interest straight, you know in this case we have to get the amount and subtract to get it right. If you want to get the compound interest straight, so let's see the formula. So we'll solve it straight. Formula, this M, please. Compound interest is principal multiplying. See what you to multiply. You remember we had um, one plus what? One plus um, raised to power. You remember this? Yeah. That's why you do this. You you do minus one. So you do minus one before you multiply with the principal so you do minus one before you multiply with the principal with this formula we are going to add these two formulas to our formula archive so that we we'll recite it and be, um, become better acquainted with it so let us apply in this case what's the principal please it's already there, right yes sir What's the rate? What's the time? Three years. So compound interest becomes principal. Three eight hundred naira. One plus what? One plus uh, two zero one. Like a one bracket. Close bracket. Then one. Three three. And that's one. Respond, please. That's what. One is what? Hundred over hundred plus two over hundred. All raised to power. Okay. So that's what. That's what. One or two over hundred is one point zero two, right? Yes, sir. And you guys multiplied it to go on. Right? Okay, let me let me confirm what you guys got. Let just I know I asked you guys to do it. Let me let me just do it. One point zero two times one point zero two. Okay, there's square there. But I would have just done square. Times 1.0. Yes. 
okay. Correct. 1.061. Okay, so 1.061 minus 1. 1.060. Eh? Again, you are close by. This minus this. Uh, do you know what you are saying? 1.061 minus 1. What do you say? It's an Abbey War. One, two. Okay, we can move this two times to so remove this zero. So it will be what? So it will be what? Remove this zero. Yes. One, two. To be six point one times eight. And that's what. So this will give us straight answer because it has already been subtracted here. So let's add it to our formula archive. That should be number three. Yes. No, number four. Um, number three, we are looking at compound interest. For amount, to be what? To give me the formula. Okay. Principal, call it what it is. No, that's this for amount. But if you want to get the compound interest rates, what will it be? Right? Yes. So we'll keep that in our formula archive. So that's the answer 48 Naira Itikubu. Okay, next question, please. We must finish before we go for break. Oh. Because we have to go to other subjects after break. Let's go. Factorize. Write the question so we'll solve it together. Let's be faster now. 4x plus 3y all squared minus 8y open bracket 4x plus 3y. Have you written it? Yes. Number? 22. Number? 22. Okay, call the question. Minus. Minus what? Eight five open bracket. Okay, we can actually expand this because square means two times, right? Peter. Peter. We can actually expand this because square means two times. But there's no need because if you look at this, you have four x plus y here, and you have four x plus y here. So you can factorize to make it easier. So bring out 4s plus y. Um, plus 3y rather. You bring out 4s plus 3y. From here, what will be left? X plus 4s plus 3y because there are two. Right? Yes, yes. Bring out 4s plus 3y here. Yeah, what will be left? X minus y. So that gives us 
4x 3y minus 8y Okay, well, we'll ask to expand it. What was the question? Okay, factorize. So that's it. Option what? Option C. Solve it. Okay, I'm going to write number 24. Read the question. Twenty uh, four, eh? Yes. One of our one of our This Listen to this. Two times one. Listen to this. Three. Huh? Three X. So that gives us what? Open bracket. Yes. Because what? Good. So. So what? So what? Carry. Carry this six x. Carry this six x over to give you what? So that's what. Ten x minus six x. Ten x minus six x. What's coming here? Bring it out. So I told us that if you multiply two things to get zero, it means the first one is either zero or the second one is zero. So this is zero or this is zero or the both of them is zero right yes, sir. make s of the formula here 15x is equal to what so x is what so x is zero or minus four over 15. option what okay they only put minus four over 15 option b solve
Mambawo. Okay, read. What's the range? How did you get it? 15 minus 10, 5. So what's the square? Number 26, read. What's the formula for calculating the sides, the angles of the interior, um, the interior angles of a polygon? I didn't hear you. Okay. So when we calculated this now, we got 1,000 what? 1,980 degrees. So we want to get N. 1,980. So N minus 2 will be divided by 180 to be... Yeah. N minus 2 is what? So what's N? People were trying to guess the number. They are trying to guess the number. Okay, solve it. Then we'll go for break.